Hi, good morning. <sighs> Trying to get make it to yoga this morning. It always turns into an ordeal. But um, I really like doing yoga and I want to make it. It's so cold outside. I'm taking the kids to the gym with me so that they can play. I have stuff to do. I have Ethan ready. I just have to pack his bag. So, welcome to Friday before Christmas. Okay, making the bottles for morning, afternoon out. Why don't you put your hair in a ponytail? It's crazy out there. Yeah, put it in a bun, I'll help you put it in a bun. Use the brush. I hear Ethan upstairs crying. Trying to leave the house with three children. Yikes. Yikes. And I was thrown off this morning. One of my family members hurt my feelings. I tend to be a little sensitive. Taking it in stride, trying to not let it ruin my whole entire day. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. Cause sometimes I don't, I choose not to believe that people realize sometimes the things that they do. But let me hurry up so I can, so we can get to yoga. Hopefully, on time. T minus one hour to make it to yoga class. Come on, let's do this. It's proving to be a rather interesting start of the day. Oh my gosh, how funny is that? It's like 35 degrees. There's only one coat that I like to wear, and that's this leather coat that I've had for years. Years! Oh, yeah. okay, it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. Think positive thoughts. brighter than the Christmas lights. There's a school bus 11:22 half day I guess. Yeah, because it's right outside. That could be your bus coming. Why the lights? Excited I got to do yoga today. Trying to make some lunch for the family. Happy first day of summer. It was on my first. Yeah. All right. Let me. I didn't see. No. He wanted to go play with the neighbors. Always. Alright, let's have lunch, which is really like a dinner. And see where the day takes us.
the children have leftovers. I have salad, lunch. Today is rest day for insanity. I just did that yoga. So it's perfect time to get to her work. Help people in the trend of obesity. Word out. Oh, I never did show you my hair. Yes. It's not really done right now because I haven't even brushed it today, but I like loads of extensions. More hair, more hair, and more hair. That's just the kind of girl I am. And my husband has the same sentiments. So, I'm very pleased with my hair. Although we went to take some Christmas pictures and I was so annoyed that my hair was messed up right there. But not everyone has a staff. Alright. Alright guys, so let me get to work. Um, I have a couple more addresses I need to put together for get these cards and gifts out and tomorrow my sister my oldest sister and her husband and three children are coming so I have to prepare for that we wash all the clothes and all that's really left is the guest room has been set up that's the beauty of David and Ethan sharing a room guest room stays intact at all times so there's really not much to do to prepare I'm not going grocery shopping until Sunday because that's just how we budget it and regardless of people are coming to town you know it's really important for us to stay on track and stay with our budget but all right talk to you later whistle why work well, it's cold. I guess it's nap time. I'm a little bit bored. I don't really have anything going on. So, I'm just going to chill. We've been catching up with this show called White Collar. So, we're watching it on Netflix. Chris is behind me in an episode, so I have to wait for him to catch up. Do this, have a boring Friday afternoon at home with Katie, but boring is good. Bye. Okay, it's only like five something. Kids are at their friend's house. I'm trying to throw something together for dinner. And while they're at their friends can wrap some Christmas presents. You got your little binky boy? You got your little binky? Your little cute self? So here is I know I told you I love my crock pot. Crock pot onion chicken thighs salsa and we could put that over rice so it's like a Mexican chicken over rice and beans so that's what I'm making for my quickie dinner should be ready in an hour because I'm gonna cook it on high okay
is your wrapping scheme. I like to do a couple of presents at a time. And I like to do the same. I usually do a theme wrapping paper, but this year I'm not. But to make sure that it looks balanced, I like to count what color, like what kind of wrapping paper. So if I'm wrapping six presents. There'll be two of this kind, two of that kind, and two of another kind of wrapping paper so that things look really festive and fun. So. And I like to change it up for the child. Like I don't want to make sure that, that each child gets a different kind of wrapping paper. Butters! Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap, and my daughter watches this, so I don't want her to see. I'm gonna wrap and watch Coming to America until the kids get home. Hi, Casey. It's Dana. How are you? Is Melissa around? Yeah. Hey Melissa, it's Dana. How's it going? Every, everybody's cool. <laughs> I'm fine if you are. I'm wrapping away. Like about how long? Okay, I'll come get them so you don't have to stop cooking. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Bye. Oh, kids are still at their friends. Well, I just called to check on them because it's not time for them to come home. As you can see, I've made progress. The crazy thing about, do you put presents underneath the tree now or later? When it comes to kids' toys, all they have to do is shake it. And some of them are wrapped so delicately that it could break any second. So I'm gonna just put the presents back in our hiding spot because especially my kids we have one we have a couple presents under there I have the baby's presents under the tree because I know he can't go over there and try and tear off corners so Dave and Kayla stuff I'm just going to keep aside But since it's time to go get them, what am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's unbelievable how long it takes me to wrap a present. But okay, we'll go for a walk. I forgot you can't see me in this darkness. Okay, going to the neighbors to get the kids. Still mailing Christmas cards. The Friday before Christmas, meaning they'll be picked up tomorrow, Saturday, sun, Saturday, Monday. Maybe that person will get theirs on Tuesday, but that's why I always get cards that say, and Happy New Year because I tend to be of the late persuasion. Oh, love thy neighbor. I'm so happy my children have kids to play with. I always say that, but honestly, I'm still best friends with my across the street neighbor from when I was six years old. So I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to have, especially when they've, since they've moved around so much, it's a blessing. Such a blessing. Okay, let me get them. The stars and the moon are so bright tonight. I don't even know if you can see. It's always a hassle to try and get the kids out of the neighbor's house. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful tonight.
And for some reason, it feels like it warmed up this very first day of winter. No, we're gonna go down in down here. David, David. I'm really tired of having to repeat myself. <sighs> Anybody who has a son knows how I feel about this guy. Oh. Come on, little boy. You want to stay over there forever? No, you live here with us. You don't live there. You live here. Uh-uh. Hang up your coat. Yes, you can. Just because something is hard doesn't mean you can't do it. Are you watching Welcome, Welcome to, to America? Coming to America? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hang it up. Thank you. Oh, yes, you can. Don't come upstairs until you hang that coat up. Ew. Hang it up. Excuse me. Good <laughs> Lord. Hang it up and take your shoes off. Uh-oh, David's not going to be able to go play at his friend's house because he doesn't know how to act like a good boy for mama. It was taking forever tonight, so I just took everything out of the crock pot and then put it in this pot to finish off. So that's salsa, onions, and chicken. Then I made some rice and some black beans for Spanish chicken and rice. <laughs> this, this is a troop gun. Did you almost cry at our wedding? Absolutely not. <laughs> nothing not I'm not eat. doing this it. Chicken, I definitely don't got nothing on it. So I'm not going to do it. You're not going to troop gun day? Back before you do it. I'm not going to do it. You're not going to. You believe him? Yeah. I ain't gonna... I saw a little tear. Uh, it wasn't a tear. It was like an almost pre-tear. Now there's only one bit kid here that had me crying though. I know you cried me? when oh. David was born, but I didn't see that. Oh, yep. you cried when you saw me, and I was so beautiful. And your eyes were like, oh, she's too beautiful. I did when I saw you the same as I did when I saw your mama. Put my love. <laughs> He said, put my wallet out. <laughs> and every Saturday, you take me shopping. That's, that doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> what do you know? Because I'm on daddy's team. You're on daddy's team? How come when we play? Except when he play fight, he don't care. David, let's do it. You know, but we played up. Trade. It's going to the It's going to the trader. He's a sleepy boy. Oh. Ethan, you sh you also cried. Whose side are you? Whose team are you on? Oh, she's so beautiful. Whose team are you on? Mama or Dad's ass? And Caleb's. Hi. <laughs> Let me guess, your mother told you to do something, right, Kayla? Oh, yeah. Kayla? Yes. Every time your mother tells you, you know, you try to find any way to do anything else other than that. Oh, Listen, shut up and get us get it started. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to stop unless I get serious and say something serious. What were you about to say, son? What were you going to say? Here we go, night, night. You gonna go take a bath? Oh, go take a brother bath. Oh, I'm trusting you so well. No. Is that the house of math right here? Did he eat all his food? Well, then you can't have any. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is another day in the life. I have curled my hair, taken a shower, I'm wearing my husband's old shirt. The bed. Um, our nighttime routine is almost impossible to film, but we try to um, get together, the five of us, and do family prayer for about 45 minutes. Well, 
the boys have bath time, I'd usually do their bath time. I read them stories, then all five of us have family prayer. I do that while Kayla and Chris clean up the kitchen. Family prayer and David called it, let's talk about Jesus hope time. He just likes to discuss Jesus. And, you know, tonight I wanted to roll up my hair because I'm not going to have time to sit and curl my hair with guests coming. So hopefully it will stay pretty well for the weekend. And I'm going to wrap some more presents. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, my crafts. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog for today and just um, brought you some sunshine and a little insight into our life. Tomorrow, we got to get up early to the gym, get our workouts in. Well, even before that, I hope it goes without saying that we wake up and pray every morning without saying. But we'll have to get up early, get our workouts in, and um, get ready for our guests tomorrow afternoon. Hope you have a great one. Bye.